Now before we do this test, I do have to let you know balloons are not meant, no brand, no anybody, are meant to be in direct sunlight, especially on hot days, 80, 90, 100 degree weather, you got the sun straight, beaming on it, no. They are not meant to last, they will pop. But that being said, there are some balloons that last a little longer, and some are a little safer when your event has to be in direct sunlight. There are some that are going to give you a better chance of lasting a little longer, and that's what this video is about. Alright, I just finished blowing up some of the balloons. Um, we have Qualitex, we have Sempertex, we have Tuftex, and we have Guimar. Uh, right now, I am in Texas. It is supposed to be over 100 degrees right now. It's about noon right now. I'm going to set it up, and I'll probably come check it out on a time lapse. I want to try this with all the same color to see how they are, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's talk about why I'm doing this test. Story time. So when my sister and my wife started doing balloons and everything, we had no idea anything about balloons. So definitely most of the stuff we learned, almost all of it is just through trial and error. The one thing that we never really thought about is too much heat in the sun. So we had never had a problem with that. So we had three setups this one Saturday. And what had happened was two of them were actually, one is in the very early morning in the shade, no problem. The two were in the afternoon. It was probably around, one was like at 12 o'clock and one was like at one o'clock, some similar. They were right after. For both of these setups, they're actually going to be in direct sunlight and we've never had a problem. Uh, summer had just started and so we're no problem. We've done it before, but this day was hot. Uh, it's probably going to be upwards of the 90 degrees, so it, it, was, it was a hot day. I won't say the brand. There were two different brands that we used, both in direct sunlight, both on the exact day, literally an hour apart. We did the first one in the morning. The second one was probably around 11 or 12. The next one was at one. Uh, we finished all three on our way back. We're done for the day. All of a sudden, my sister gets a call and she says, the balloons have popped almost all whole garland's gone. We're like what? My sister's freaking out. My wife's freaking out. And I'm like, nah, no way. We go back and more than 50% of that garland was gone. Direct sunlight, direct everything. But that's the first time that happened and that's never happened before. We're freaking out, but luckily we still had maybe a little over an hour. Um, so we still had, we actually had some um, other balloons for that we had used from the other setup. So I said, let's not use those same balloons. As quick as we could, all three of us. I don't really blow up balloons. I don't do any of that stuff. But as I, we jumped in there and all of us sweating out in the back, just blowing up balloons in the hot sun and then um, redirected it in some shade. Uh, put the new balloons up and boom, no problem. But that was probably the worst experience we've had. And anyone who's done balloons, knowing that you set up, uh, you're not charging cheap for this and they're popping and blowing up. There's a lot of money for this and the balloons are just popping. Worst nightmare, my sister and my wife were. So here's the funny part. We went to the other setup, which was out in the country the next day, we went the next day to do the pickups and I was wondering like, man, the other one's gotta be destroyed. They never called, they never did anything. And that was really our first time setting up in super, super hot days. And it was direct sunlight. It must've been direct sunlight the whole day. When we show up, literally almost the whole balloon garland is there. The only thing missing was a three foot, uh, the large three foot balloon that we had put towards the bottom. But that was, you weren't even noticeable. The whole garland was pretty much all intact. And so that's when we snapped like, Maybe it's the brands. Some do a little bit better in sunny or hot days than others. So that was just something we knew. So if it was indoor, the reason you use multiple brands and you just don't stick to brands is because it's hard to find colors. You're, you're trying to mix and match certain colors and you're never really gonna find them all from one brand or if you're double stuffing or you're creating stuff. So you can't really stick to one brand. But it's good to have in your back pocket of knowing which brands are gonna be doing a little bit better in the hot sun. Even though they're not meant for it, you do want to have that in your back pocket. You can let customers know, look, we don't we don't we don't like to set up in the sun. It's going to pop your balloons. I won't guarantee anything that's in the sun. Most people are understandable and they'll try to get to the shade. Some people are kind of stubborn and they still want it and when they do, we know which brand to avoid and which one to use, but it's just good knowledge to have. Other people are going to say they've never had that. They've never gone through those things. Well, a lot of times their their heat is like 80 degrees and they're like, "Oh, it's hot over here." I'm in Texas, it, it gets it gets hot. When summer hits, you're, you're getting 100 degrees. It's it's just crazy. Your number one thing is to make sure it goes right. So when you know it's gonna be an outdoor event, it's always better to plan for those things ahead. So it's been a couple of hours. It's probably around three o'clock right now. This one's doing pretty good. Guimar's taking a hit. Tough Tex is taking a hit. Qualitex still doing pretty good. 
I keep having to move the camera because I don't want it too much in the sun. The camera is burning hot right now. It's probably about it's probably about 105 degrees outside right here. Uh, so I keep trying to move the camera, try to keep the camera in the shade as much as I can. But the uh, camera is burning up. This is probably the third battery I put in there. All right, let's keep it going. Hey, what's up everybody back with the video so it's about five o'clock it's been a couple of hours let's go over the balloons so this one is sempertex metallitex there was one two three four five six seven so this one lost one this one is the gimar uh there were eight so this one has one just fell off so it kind of doesn't count so this one has three the next one we have is tough text which kind of surprised me a little bit started off with eight and all we have left is three and the last one is qualitex we started off with eight and we got four one two three four all right so we're back we're going to talk about the winner so the winner which was by surprise and we looked through the votes i think most people were voting qualitex which is really the best and the highest quality brand that people recognize right off the bat is qualitex the second up was tough Tex. i think it was a tie between batalitex gimar and they were actually tied for like i think both of them got like one or one vote each so the majority of the votes was actually it was pretty much a landslide everybody thought qualitex the winner by surprise Batalitex. Batalitex, we put eight balloons for all of them. Uh, Batalitex only lost one, so they had seven remaining balloons. Gimar, the next one, uh, they actually had lost in total since I kind of counted everything that's going to be stuck to the garland because that's really what, what counts, what's going to stay there, not what's hanging around. So what they actually had was three left. And then we had Tough Tex, which is a surprise because I've used Tough Tex in the sun and I'm, I don't know, I may want to run this again, maybe try different colors or um, different setups. But Tough Tex did only have three left. Those so three out of eight left, same thing as the Gimar, so they were tied for last and third. For second was Qualitex, no one's surprised, they do have quality balloons, I've used them for the sun a lot. So anytime we have an event where the client was really insistent on putting balloons that are going to be in the sun, uh, we definitely don't recommend it and we let them know there's no guarantee those balloons are going to last, especially how hot it's going to be or if the sun's gonna be hot we have no charge of the weather so you never really know those days whenever we know it's gonna be hot so we definitely recommend that we try to steer them away but when they did we used Qualitex and we never had a problem the balloons that lasted that day and a half from that event I had told you before in the hot sun one day all the way to the next only was one balloon it was actually Qualitex so I hope that information helps out. If, and if you had any interesting stories about balloons popping with you or anything, leave them in the comments below. Worst nightmare is coming back to figuring out balloons have been popped. So leave them in the comments below. If you learned some good information below, leave them in the comments. Um, definitely don't try to hate on any of the balloon brands. You're gonna use them all, you need them all. Uh, definitely have a lot of different colors and you're just gonna be interchanging with them all. It's just, it's good information to know and have. Probably be running this test again. I'm pretty sure I'll get some comments to do some different stuff. But um, if you'd like to see comments or maybe different colors and try it again in a different style, definitely let me know in the comments below. We should do this again. It's sum summer's just getting started here in Texas. You saw that, 105 degrees? Oh my goodness. But, all right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.